Previously on Bit on the Side, Mark Henderson can never unsee this. Natalie Cassidy makes a difficult choice. Oh, I think I'd have to go Madsen Rim. Got her, aren't you? Every time. Celebrity guests are always well informed. Yes, he's a very enthusiastic nosher, isn't he? <laughs> Being a friend of the twins has aged Dean Bowers. <laughs> Neil Ruddock was better at dribbling than we remember. <laughs> And Georgia Sauper gets very defensive about her breasts. They were really good to me because, like, I I was very alone in the house and they stuck by me and they were my friends and they were, like, loyal girls. It's Big Brother's bit on the side. Uh, you know we said we didn't care about the shredding of the letters? Uh, well, we did, and we've been holding a grudge for four whole days. <laughs> so it's like a massive OMFNG tonight! <laughs> what a show it was! Oh, I watched it this afternoon and I still can't get over it. Uh, the mother of all rows kicked off because Carissa didn't like the loose women initiation process. Uh, Nicola is a secret feminist and Frankie can't spell pansy. <laughs> Uh, but what else have we learnt today? Well, uh, when all the arguments have died down, uh, they'll all be the best of friends. You just mark my words. They only have... You only have to look at the high esteem that they have for their ex-housemates. I wonder what Andrew Stone is doing right now. I could not give two shits. <laughs> forward as a new team captain on QI. I've got any GCSEs for... Uh, I've got one C. What, in what? English. I still can't spell. Literature or language? Um, the easy one. Uh, the one, which the one, one that you don't have to do on Shakespeare and stuff. Oh. <laughs> uh, and seriously, when Jonathan Ross stopped presenting film 2010, I think they really overlooked Mr Kokoza. You oh. free willy, wouldn't you? I was, yeah. Mm. He was just... Foster dad. I was the dad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the first and second one. I mean, you ran it in the second one? Yeah. Was you in the first one as well? I was in the first one and the second one. <laughs> what, who was you in the first one? I can't remember the first oh, one. The dad. <laughs> I mean, I mean, really. And Michael's either bagged himself a remake of The Elephant Man or he's just bagged himself. <laughs> your back. Uh, first up, he's the son of a gladiator and king... <laughs> they love it. Uh, and king of many a rap battle, uh, so he'd have been more than at home in the bungalow last night. His solidity is not in doubt. It's Harvey. Yeah. <laughs> Our next guest just keeps coming back. We have told him time and time again, Andrew, you've been evicted, but he just will not give up. It's Hanji Stone. <laughs> after, months, after months of convincing him to come on to Channel 5, we've finally got our favourite big brother geek. Uh, it may be 11 o'clock, but it's not his show. It's Mr Ian Lee. Yeah. Well, the 
on the twins when it comes to flashing his backside. And as we all know, that's not difficult. Uh, please give a right royal welcome for Mr. Pete Burns. <laughs> That's my local minicab firm. Oh, oh, I need to move to your area. I've got an account. <laughs> <laughs> Queen's Park taxis, really. Uh, uh, so last night was a million miles away from the happy housemate singing karaoke that we saw uh, in last night's show. Uh, last night, man, the Woo! shit oh. went down. But the one good thing that did come out of it is that now we know which twin is which, yeah. don't we? Yeah. <laughs> we know the one that's just vicious. Uh, so, Pete, did, um, did Carissa overreact to Denise pulling down her bottoms? Well, if, I, if I go with what the public think, yeah. But if I go with what I really think, no. Because just because they get the tits and ass out for a living doesn't mean they can be stripped naked in public. It's like I sing for a living, but I don't sing in the news agents when people ask me to. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, do, do we feel like it was a proper stripping, though? Or was no, it I, more of a... I would hate? say if you gave them an extra 30 grand, yeah. they'd have taken the bras off as well. If Big Brother is a popularity contest, they're not going to win. But if it's a game show, they've already won. And I think mm. with the joining of Aaron winning, who played it as a game, yeah. they're the next people playing it as a game. And they make great viewing. I hate them and I love them. <laughs> and their brains are clicking away on the dollars all the time. And there's no way they're going to disappear back to Hugh Hefner's... They are top. totally playing the game. Yeah. Totally yeah. playing. Yeah. Um, Ian, do you think Denise was out of order doing it? Well, it was, a, it was a little bit naughty, but it wasn't a full debagging. It was just a little... <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't... I Can you say that? that word, debagging, debagging. Yes. No, that's Latin, isn't it? Oh, I think that's Latin brilliant. phrase. Brilliant. Uh, she was a little bit naughty, but, I mean, for God's sake, I, she, what was interesting was the twin. I don't know, let's call her Twin B. I don't know their names. <laughs> <laughs> but it took her, like, a few minutes to think, oh, hang on, if I, if I say that I'm upset by this, I might get a little bit of mileage out of it. It took a little while for the yeah. cogs. Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. seen them say it, haven't we? that they, yeah. they've been on reality shows, they know yeah. what to do, they yeah. know how to get airtime. So, yeah. is this part yeah. of Of course it is. Let's be honest, they're evil. <laughs> they are evil. <laughs> they are evil. <laughs> they have nothing to do with us. Harvey, do you think Nicola was wrong to get involved? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Nicola. I think she's very quick to, um, to switch sides. She's a hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And... It was a personal battle between Denise and the twins. Nicola, why are you getting involved? Stop trying to, you know, to, to get people on your side. We're not backing you. We don't like you. Yeah. You know, you're, you're too fast, so, no. I think there was, there was no. one point tonight where it could have gone in Nicola's mm. favour, you know, when she was trying to pull her out yeah. the door. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Said, just, just keep yeah. calm. The peacemaking take role. It away. She could have done the peacemaking, yeah. And she went, <laughs> if you want it to kick off, I'll just leave her in here. Yeah. And then she went, oh, well, there you go then. Yeah. And yeah. then she got involved, and it's... I don't think it's helped her. It could have really gone in her face. She switches sides. That's why I feel, I think, you know, whoever's winning, Nicola's there. And to that's me, right. to me, I that's see right. through that. Yeah. That's, that's a f <laughs> That's a fake person. Yeah. That's a fake person. <laughs> she's, very, she's very fake. And Do I, I see a yeah. potential romance going sorry, on? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I oh, know. I've got a lot of love for her. Um, Do I even need to ask whose side you're on between <laughs> Nicola and Denise? Denise! Diffuse the situation. Yeah. But <laughs> she never got a chance. Don't boo me. <laughs> I'll get my lawyers on to it. <laughs> she was trying to diffuse the situation, but she never but Denise was running and running. Take Denise out. Excuse yeah. me. Why did she take Denise? <laughs> <laughs> Situation by taking one of the twins out, but Denise was going on and on. I would have yes, let her go. But where did? I'm not. 
pregnant anymore. It's okay. <laughs> um, but where did this friendship? <laughs> Friendship between the twins and Nicola come from because it, it seems to have happened George, all of a sudden. Yeah, when George and Emma yeah. yeah. because yeah. she left. She, the reason why, right, this relationship um, formed um, with she the twins. Uh, like the would twins. you be quiet? <laughs> and um, is because that she didn't want to look. Um, because she wanted to look yeah, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to look pretty. Yeah, she wanted to look pretty because they keep saying, oh, oh, um, oh, Nicola, you are so pretty. So do you think it was she wanted to, like, in the school playground, that she wanted to hang out with the cool she kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, OK. Definitely. Um, Andrew, should Denise have spoken up about the whole letter thing when it happened rather than biting her tongue for a few days? I think she was playing the diplomacy card, really. I mean, you know, she was pushed to do that. And um, she's an eccentric thespian. She's a lovely lady. And I think that, you know, she got... No, she's married, I think, isn't she? <laughs> eccentric. <laughs> eccentric. <laughs> Did I mishear something? <laughs> anyway, I would have taken her down the bottom of the garden and I would have just basically just tried to defuse the situation. And I think that, you know, she's mentally being pushed in there, bless her. Um, yeah. Pete, yeah. Um, uh, was Frankie right to stick up for Denise? <laughs> <laughs> No, I do care. <laughs> I think it's a case of drinks in, wits out. Mm. I had a very similar relationship with Tracy Bingham in there. She was perfectly lovely, but she was always pissed and wanted to be my friend. There's one thing I can't stand. It's a pissed man of horse or woman. <laughs> uh, but he did, say, did, he did say that he wouldn't have stuck up for anybody else in that situation. And he Is didn't... this Frankie Coke up his nose at? Oh! <laughs> Still in the house. Do you think that this would have escalated into such a big thing? Well, can I go home, please? <laughs> <laughs> can I, this is not what I was led to believe. <laughs> this would be. Uh, no, would. <laughs> What Natalie? I don't know. Natalie would have been would have been going back back and forth between each party and manipulating a little bit, stirring and getting what she wants. I didn't trust her at all. She she did seem to keep the. To keep no, I'm the right, peace and you're wrong. Nothing I'm, I'm, <laughs> funny. You're in the audience. I'm sat next to these people here. I don't know who these two are, but I know Pete Bell's a big fan. So I, I know I know what I'm. I'm checkmates. Checkmates. Checkmate. I've been owned. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Have a look at this. That was bad, bad, bad news last night, man. This is a fucking nut house, man. Crazy situation. Just don't start the whole thing going again, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't start being Denise's buddy. So she can basically spend the entire day ranting and ranting about what she did and how it was right. I won't bring myself to talk to them girls again. No. I won't. Not a chance. Some stuff they said was just... Nah. All right, I'll let you Here go. we go. Have a shower, gather your thoughts, and, yeah, just chill out and relax. I've got your back anyway. Thank you, darling. Right, I really appreciate it, Williams. All right, Yes. <laughs> None of you are ever invited back again. <laughs> how does, um, <laughs> Ian's really happy. Uh, how does the house move on? Can it move on? Ooh, well, it has to, doesn't it? I mean, they know they're on Well, no, they're all out in four days. <laughs> 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 Checkmate. I mean, Checkmate. If there's a scale from one to ten of being in a bad situation, it was an eleven last night, so I can't see how it can get any worse than that. What do you reckon? <laughs> Of 11 in there. Well, it's just gone beyond. It's a mathematical it? impossibility. <laughs> Stop thinking! Oh, that's, my, that's where I'm going wrong. Right, yes. I can do that. Uh, okay, I'm going to go this last link before my eyes just fall off my face. <laughs> uh, if you want to get in touch, contact details are on the screen now. <laughs> uh, this 
Friday, we are going to be crowning our Celebrity Big Brother 2012 winner, which housemate deserves to join the ranks of Doherty, Johnson, Shetty and all the other ones. Uh, <laughs> you have the power <laughs> to bestow the honour. Stop it! Here's that to choose a champ. <laughs>